Welcome to our video series on learning version control with Git. In this video, I'll show you how to undo things with Git. Let's start by changing your very last commit. Often after making a commit, you realize that you forgot to add a little change, or you mistyped the commit message. I'll stage file A and file B and commit them. As I said, the most recent commit can easily be changed in Git. I can correct the commit message simply by committing again with the amend flag. As you see, the latest commit was simply replaced by our amended corrected one. You can also add some more changes to that last commit. Let's say we forgot to add file C. I simply stage it as normal and then commit again with the amend flag. The amend feature is great for fixing your very last commit. As long as you keep one rule in mind, never amend a commit that was already published on a remote server. Amend rewrites a commit and if you publish that commit again, you'll come into trouble. It also allows you to undo uncommitted local changes. Sometimes you realize that the changes you just made, well, aren't worth keeping. You'd like to restore the last committed state of a file and start fresh. Let's do this with our index.html file. We type git checkout, then the revision we'd like to return to, which is head for the last committed state, and at last the file name. This discards any uncommitted changes we've made in that file since we last committed it. Typing git status again, we see that it's not listed as modified anymore. If you had a very bad day, you might want to discard all of the changes you made recently. This is a job for the reset command. With git reset dash dash hard head, we tell git to restore the complete project at its last committed state. This will discard all local changes. Be very careful with these two commands. You cannot restore uncommitted changes after you've discarded them. Finally, you can also undo commits. For example, when you notice that your changes were wrong or when you introduced a bug. Using the git revert command is one possibility to undo a commit. However, the command doesn't delete any commits. In fact, it even creates a new commit, one that reverts the effects of that other commit, effectively undoing it. Let's look at an example. If your original commit added a word in a certain place, the reverting commit will remove exactly this word again. Let's do this on the command line in practice. Git log shows us our recent commits. Now, let's say we introduced some bad code with this change headlines commit here. I changed the about text to about this project and imprint to imprint slash disclaimer. Let's revert this commit. Simply type git revert and the hash of that commit. Another look at git log shows us that we indeed have a new commit that reverted the old one. And with a closer look, we see that it indeed introduced changes that revert that other commit. A different way to undo commits is git reset. It works by resetting your head branch to an older revision, also called rolling back to that older revision. After this command, your currently checked out branch will be at the named revision and the files in your working copy will be exactly as they were in that revision. All the commits that came after this one are effectively undone. They are no longer visible in the history of this branch. Let's say we want to roll back our working copy to that change headlines commit here. Type git reset dash dash hard and the commit hash. 
Good luck shows us the new situation. That commit is now the latest one and any newer commits are effectively undone. One last thing to keep in mind, both commands revert and reset only affect your current head branch. Therefore, always make sure you've checked out the correct branch before playing with them. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video.